Hello and welcome Gemini. This is your June 2023 general reading with myself Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. Uh, it really does help uh, the channel out. If you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, uh, where were we? Yeah, Gemini, sorry. <laughs> Gemini, this is what we're doing here. We will divide the reading slightly into sections because it's easier to understand and to obviously uh, give the messages. So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of June 2023 for the sign of um, Gemini. Uh, before we then look into your emotional core, see if there's healing coming in um, or there's love coming in, whatever needs to happen, we look at that. Before we then lastly go and look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of June 2020. Three, Gemini, are you ready? So, the first thing the guides are saying to you, and it's just a statement, if that makes sense. Gemini is the sign of the twin, and the association is that because the twin isn't always there, if that makes sense, right? You sometimes lack that inner voice that tells you, you've done a good job. You will be fine, if that makes sense. And all the guides are saying is, you're at home. You're fully at home within yourself. You have done all you needed to do. You are exactly where you're supposed to be, right? So yes, there may be difficulties that, 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 that you're in, they're part of your, of your growth and of your learning curve. But when it comes to your spiritual understanding of self, you are exactly where you are supposed to be. You are home. Now, the trick is, is to look at your home and make it your own, right? Everybody finds something in their home that they feel like, oh, that shouldn't really be here, that clutters up my space, blah, 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 or I wish I had more space, blah, 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 blah. Whatever it is that makes you look at the concept of home and semi-detest it is where you go wrong, right? Cherish what you got, right? Make home the place to be. Equally important that there's a spiritual side of you that is not separate to the rest of you. And this is also where your home sits at this point in time very strongly, right? You are home. That's the overall energy. Um, you will hear this the way you need to hear it, if that makes sense. But Gemini, you are at home. Most important thing is, if there are people, entities, whatever you want to bloody call it, that don't make you feel like your home, then obviously these are the people that need to be looked at and maybe they need to be exchanged, right? Reflect on it. There's a, a, a good analogy that I always use, um, if I may say so myself, and that analogy is simple. You remove yourself from the situation you're in and then ask yourself, would I ask my best friend to be in my position? And if you feel like, mm, not so sure, you got your answer, right? In any case, you are fully home. Now, <laughs> when it comes to your love life, so this is your emotional core, where sometimes the guides talk to me about, and me therefore to you, about healing that needs to happen, um, or there's more love coming in. What you have is the energy of Capricorn. Now Capricorn is associated with three different animals and, and the animal that it actually depicts is not even the right animal. So, <laughs> so the point is Capricorn is obviously when you look at Capricorn as a, as a sign, um, the denotion, it is denoted or, or depicted as a mountain goat when it is actually named after a sea goat, right? So it doesn't quite fit. The point they're making in this case, because you, ha you have the energy of Capricorn when it comes to your emotional core. You don't have to worry about new things coming in at all, right? What you need to do is to achieve, and this seems to be uh, also related to the over energy, some sort of an equilibrium, a balance within you from which you then make more informed decisions, that's probably the word, right? About what you want to do with your love life. This month's Geminis, I don't 
fear from the guides about you needing to do a lot of um, sounds a bit wrong meditation, a lot of um, removing yourself, right? So this this is more a month for for you, for you Gemini's to be out there, show yourself, don't hide away, uh, and understand that attracting people is not your problem. Trusting is your issue. And the only way you learn this is when you achieve a, a peace that you make with yourself. So be proactive this month. Unfortunately, I'm not getting anything whether or not there is new love coming in. All I know is that the energy here doesn't flow towards what healing you need to do. It's more uh, about the relationship you're in or the relationship you want to have and how to, to, how to achieve an inner peace or maybe even, um, you know, a line that people cannot cross, that sort of stuff. Um, so it is about, it's a bit more about reflecting what you really desire, but at the same time, not procrastinate, go out and, and, and get it, if that makes sense, right? So Gemini, that's that. When it comes to opportunities in the month of June, they only come when you are willing to look at changes. So what, they, what you're asked to do is to not be a one-trick pony, right? I'm sure you got skills and I'm sure you, you do very well at, at what you do, but big deal, right? Point here is there may be other things um, that you could be doing or maybe in the field that you're working at or for or in. Maybe there are things that you can do to ultimately reach another position, right? Feel a bit more in charge, if that makes sense. Right, uh, because that's an energy that I'm getting here strongly. Uh, wanting to be a bit more in charge um, is not ego based in your in your case. It's more like you know, um, why not? You know, I, I know what I'm doing here. So so that needs to be and ought to be reflected in how you're being treated, what in whatever work you're doing. Right. Um, ultimately, what you're being asked is to is to embrace change when it comes your way, and and it sounds a bit weird to shine. So I go, yeah, no matter what life throws at me, I will be fine. I can do all the things that, you know, that, uh, that um, your soul knows you can do, right? So, interestingly here, that's all I got, by the way, Gemini, interestingly here, that was a straightforward advice, and yet there was already reluctancy in understanding it. Um, I understand English is not my first language, and so sometimes I kind of go like maybe I didn't I didn't explain it right. But what I got is, for some of you who found that video, please understand that there is no coincidence. If you found that video, then a lot of the information that you get here is for you. Otherwise, why would you sit through it and and look at this grey bearded, uh, you know, almost grey haired guy for nothing, as they say? So trust that you that you hear to listen to this and that the guides have your best interest at heart, right? But also understand this, that it is your attitude towards everything that makes it work, right? So go out and shine, be the best version of yourself um, because that high energy attracts higher energy to you. Gemini, thank you so much. Uh, please like, subscribe and share and I hope I see you all back next month. Bye-bye.